But it's all done. The, the fact that the whole piece is, what makes those even more interesting is that the piece is essentially diatonic or pan-diatonic. Yeah. It's just a pan-diatonic piece. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I mean, sets that up, again, at the very beginning. Fifths and then a right. DEA, a chordal harmony or quintal mm -hmm. harmony and that, that sort of thing. So when you do have a little chromatic shift like that, it's very fresh. Right. Very mm -hmm. fresh. You know, as you say, it might, might make a little surprise. Free the listener, so to speak. Um, anyway. Especially when it goes, because it goes to the flat two, and then he goes to, to the natural two. Yeah. So, so it, it makes it very ambiguous as to, and you think you know where he's where he's going, and then he surprises you again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And offsets all the diatonicism in the rest of the piece right. too. So the nice contrast. And like Douglas said, it, sometimes it happens at time at moments you don't expect a quarter note off from where you think it would. Mm -hmm. uh, there's something very. It feels unpredictable, but in the, in the large scale, it just uh, it's part of the drama. Yeah. yeah. Organic. Yeah. yeah. yeah.